Hi students, welcome to Perspective Projection. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. Perspective Projection is slightly different from whatever we have learned in the previous chapters or modules. In orthographic projection, you know the light rays are assumed parallel to each other. The drawings are made on VP, elevation, drawings are made on HP, plan, and the plan and elevation are together analyzed to know the shape. In isometric, we have seen that you get a pictorial view, a single view is sufficient. You get a pictorial view because you represent all the three axes. Here, in perspective projection, we draw almost what you see when you look at an object. That is, you know when you look at an object, the light rays from the object converge to your eye and an image is formed on the back of the eye called the retina and the image produced there, which is an inverted one, is interpreted by your brain and the brain tells us what it is and how it is. All details it will give. Agreed? Now, you know that the light rays, the light rays which are parallel come from an origin somewhere and say at infinity the light rays converge. At infinity these light rays converge. That imaginary point where two parallel lines or parallel lines seems to meet is called a vanishing point. These parallel rays, parallel lines meet at a point called a vanishing point. That concept is used in drawing perspective projection. When you are looking at an object, you can take a plane anywhere in between the object and your eye or even beyond the object. If you assume this plane, which is called a picture plane, a transparent picture plane, in between the object and the eye, the light rays while coming towards your eye, penetrate this somewhere. Penetrate this paper and make an image on this. This image which falls on this picture plane is called the perspective view. I repeat, the light rays coming from the object to your eye, penetrate a picture plane and make an image on the picture plane. This image is called the perspective view. This picture plane can be brought nearer to the eye so that the picture plane get a smaller picture. It can be brought nearer to the object so that the perspective view become bigger and bigger. And if you bring it on to the object, that part of the object will be true size. You can bring it behind the object so that the light rays when extended, make a bigger image on the, on the picture plane and you call it perspective view. So the perspective view usually will be smaller than the object because the picture plane is taken in between the object and the eye. That is the basic meaning of perspective view. This picture plane and there are certain other old, other terms also which are quite new for, for us. We have not seen such things in orthography. In orthography we have got we, we have got a front view, VP, top view, plan, profile plane, end view and things like that. X, Y line etc. Here there are completely new things. I will explain what they are. The first thing is picture plane. So what is picture plane? Picture plane is the plane on which the perspective view of an object falls. You are free to move it anywhere depending upon your requirement. You can bring it in between the object and your eye or in between or behind the object anywhere. That is called a picture plane which is usually represented by picture plane PP. PP. Second is ground plane. It's a, you can take this ground, this ground or floor as the ground plane. It is the ground on which the object and the observer usually stand. Object and observer can change from the ground plane, but usually the object and the observer will stand on this plane, which is called as ground plane, GP, ground plane. The third is called the horizon plane, and before horizon plane, I will explain about 
the station point. Station point is the location of the eye of the observer. Because from where you look decides what you see. If there is an object, you can look from various places. Depending upon the place from which you look, the view which you see will be different. So that is for the station point. Three, station point SP. So station point is nothing but station point is nothing but the location of the eye of the observer. So we have seen picture plane, ground plane, station point, then for horizon plane, HP. Horizon plane is the plane which passes through the eye parallel to this ground. Horizon plane is the plane which passes through the eye and parallel to the ground. That is horizon plane. Next is ground line, GL. This ground plane meet this picture plane. You can assume this wall as the picture plane. This ground plane meet this picture plane at a line. That line is called the ground line. It is similar to the XY line where the HP and VP meet. So that is ground line. Next is horizon line. The plane through the eye which you call as horizon plane meet picture plane at a line. That line is called the horizon line. HL. So the distance between horizon line and the ground line is equal to the height of the observer or height of the station point from the ground. The distance between ground line and the horizon line is nothing but the distance of the or the height of the station point from the ground. So these are six terms. Next is the perpendicular axis. If an observer is standing here and if you take a ray of light perpendicular to this picture plane from the eye, that ray of light is called or that line is called the perpendicular axis. Perpendicular axis. So what is perpendicular axis? Perpendicular axis is a ray of light coming from the eye perpendicular to the picture plane. Agreed? Perpendicular axis. Next is center of vision C or you can also call it CD. Center of vision. This perpendicular axis meet the picture plane at a point. You can assume an observer is standing here. The observer is looking at some object. This is picture plane. This perpendicular axis meet the picture plane at a point. That point is called the center of vision. And the last is central plane, CP. It is a plane which contains the eye of the observer, this perpendicular axis and this center of vision perpendicular to ground and picture plane. I repeat, it is a plane similar to profile plane which contains the eye station point which contains the perpendicular axis and also the center of vision. It is similar to profile plane that is called central plane, central plane CP. So you can draw a problem in perspective projection only and only if you know what these nine things are. First is the picture plane. This wall you can assume as the picture plane. Next is the ground plane. This floor you can take as the ground plane. Next is the station point. Station point is the location of the eye of the observer. Fourth is the horizon plane. The plane which passes through the eye parallel to the ground. Next is ground line. This ground meets picture plane at the ground line. Next is horizon line. The horizon plane meets picture plane at the line. That is horizon line. Next is perpendicular axis. A ray of light from the eye perpendicular to PP. Next is center of vision. The point where the perpendicular axis meet PP is called the center of vision. And center of plane is the plane containing center of vision, perpendicular axis and the eye of the observer. Perpendicular to the ground and perpendicular to PP. Picture plane. So these nine times are explained now. Now, I will explain what is vanishing point. I told you it is based on the principles of vanishing point that we draw. You assume you are standing on a railway track which is going straight to a very large distance. You assume you are standing on a railway track which is going to very large distance straight. Stand at its center. You see the two rails going beside you. You look very slowly ahead. You look very slowly ahead. You can see the rails going and if you finally look forward and forward and forward and forward you will feel that these two rails after going to very large distance bend from the ground to the level of your eye and meet at a point. I repeat these rails which go very large distance bend from the ground bend from the ground to the level of your eye and meet at a point. 
this point where parallel line seems to meet is called the vanishing point. This parallel lines seems to meet at this vanishing point. It is based on this principle that we draw perspective views. Now, coming to practical drawing, all the advertisement of apartments, buildings, residential flats, etc., which you see on the roadside, all huge hoardings are all perspective views. You see, you when you look at it, you will feel the building is standing there. It will give you a pictorial representation. They are real views. But perspective view is real view because it is what exactly you see when you look at it. So all these advertisements are real uh, perspective views. They make some adjustments to make it look better. Some color changes, uh, orientation changes, etc. They make it to make it make it, may do for making making it more appealing. So that is perspective view because perspective view is what exactly you see. So we will see few problems in perspective views in the subsequent classes. I hope you understand. Thank you.